bulk carrier, Gibraltar Eagle, was heading west when maritime radar picked up three unidentified objects fired in its direction. One found its target, hitting the hold, starting a fire. The latest strike on maritime shipping and world trade mounted by the Houthi militia. MV Gibraltar Eagle left port in South Korea on Christmas Eve, loaded with steel, and sailed west for the Suez Canal. At 10 a.m. UK time, it reversed course and was hit by a missile three hours later, a hundred miles south of the port of Aden. It turned off its transmitter, or went dark, a few minutes later. This attack comes a few days after a mass strike by US and UK forces on the Houthis' infrastructure. That action designed to deter and degrade these attacks, yet the militia continue to threaten shipping in the Red Sea. And a spokesman said all American and British vessels would be considered hostile targets. The MV Gibraltar Eagle is stable. No crew were hurt. But this Iran-backed militia has retained some of its capabilities and its resolve. In an audacious assault on a British-owned vessel in November, they hijacked the ship and took the crew captive. Well, we never thought that um, this would remove all of their facilities. That wasn't the goal. The goal was to send that very clear uh, message. We will now watch and monitor um, the situation very carefully. Um, but uh, really, uh, as we've said, not just the Houthis, but to the, their Iranian uh, sort of masters, in a sense, because they're really proxies for Tehran, uh, this cannot go on. Yet the Iranians, it seems, have rejected that message with their foreign minister accusing the White House and the West of hypocrisy. You call for calm in the region, then expand the war to the Red Sea, he said. A battle-hardened, if obscure, militia, the Houthis are now causing great disruption on one of the world's major arteries of trade. It may prove extremely difficult to stop them. John Sparks, Sky News.